Well, there's a song that is sometimes sung, oftentimes at a funeral, I suppose. Precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the nighttime. And I think a lot of times that uh, we do have precious memories, don't we? This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional. And I was thinking about all the different things that invoke memory. And I know the apostle said that we're to forget those things which are behind, but I don't think he's telling us to never uh, use the God-given ability to pull things from the past and, and to remember. Uh, one scripture said, remember the pit from whence thou wast digged. And so uh, there sometimes it's all right to look back. We just had Father's Day the other day, and I remember my father. My dad's been gone now for almost 28 years, and yet I uh, had a lot of memories of uh, my dad as a kid growing up. And uh, later on, as we interacted as adults, I had good memories. Harold and I celebrated 57 years uh, of marriage, and believe me, when you are celebrating your anniversary, especially one that long, well, you look back and you remember there were a lot of good times, and, and you remember there were some times that weren't so good. And so, you know, that's a time of remembering, a time of memory. I'm coming up on 53 years in August. I started pastoring that 53 years ago, and, and never a summer comes by. But what I don't recall, the events that led up to my first church and the events of me beginning to uh, uh, life long um, period of ministry. I have fond memories that I enjoy bringing up of the churches that I have pastored, the people that I have been privileged to have association with. There have been a few of those that uh, have brought bad memory, but very few. And I like to dwell upon the memories of people that I have known and pastored and, and fellowshiped with just great memories. Our children have birthdays, and we think, my word, the year is gone. We remember the day they were born, and we remember them growing up, and different things, the cute things that they did, and the ornery things that they did. And oftentimes, you know, at the time, it wasn't funny or cute, but we've learned to chuckle at some of the things that our kids have done as we use the gift of memory as far as our children growing up. And so on and on I could go about this gift of memory. Some memories are very pleasant to recall. I like uh, Facebook because, you know, I've been on there a number of years now, probably about 11 years, and every day I like to go back to my memories and see what I was doing a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. One came up today three years ago. I snapped a picture of a little white frame church out in north central Kansas and reflected upon my uh, growing up years in that little church and how it was there that the Lord first spoke to my heart as a very young lad and I gave my heart to Jesus back then. What wonderful memories that we had and memories of growing up just on and on we could go talking about the gift of memory. If you've lost a loved one, it hurts. And the pain is always there. And yet eventually the pain lessens as we exercise the gift of memory and begin to remember the good times, the warm times that we enjoyed together, the things that we did. I believe that the gift of memory can bring great comfort, can bring great pleasure to our hearts and our minds. Uh, and then those things that aren't so good to remember, maybe we can say, man, I'm going to be careful not to repeat the mistake that led up to that memory. I'm going to be careful not to do that again. Maybe we've learned some lessons from the things that are, are bad memories in our life. But don't, don't hesitate to remember. I believe that God wants us to enjoy precious memories uh, that have, of events and things that have happened down across the years of our life. Heavenly Father, thank you for precious memories today. Those things that sometimes bring a smile to our face. Those things that bring comfort. Those things, Lord, that just make us feel good. We're bad for the gift of memory today. And the bad memories, 
Lord, may we learn from those and uh, keep going to make many more good memories before we reach the end of the road. Bless us, keep us, and bless us to live for God, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, here on the Lord Light's devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.